Hey, and welcome back to Vid Society. So I'm going to make another video today because there's so many of you out there who are making videos and you're trying to find out how to make the thumbnails. And so what I'm gonna do is show you a free tool you can use to create thumbnails just like mine. This tool I'm gonna to show you is like an online Photoshop. In fact, I'm gonna give you my thumbnail template that's under this video. You can download it, you can upload it to this online tool and edit it however you want to to make your own thumbnails for your videos. So let's jump over to it. And this tool is called Photo P. So it's photop.com. I'll put the link for it below this video. Uh, you guys can come here and there are ads on the site. I don't know if you can subscribe to it. I really hadn't even checked uh, to get rid of the ads, but honestly, um, they're not that much of a bother being clear over there. So the only thing you have to do is below this video, I'm gonna put a link to my template. And if you want to use that, you download it and then you're gonna click on open from computer and you're gonna select that file and upload it to Photo P. And this is what it should look like. This is the last thumbnail that I made for my videos on my channel. And this one, I'm gonna update it to make a new thumbnail for this video that you're watching right now. But first I wanna show you how to edit this and how you can use it to create your own thumbnails. So first of all, there's several layers or objects within this picture. Each one of them can be edited individually. So for example, you have this little cartoon picture of me, you have this text, you have the text with the box behind it, then you have the free keyword list text, then you have the background image, and all of these can be changed individually. The first thing you wanna do is come up here and click on transform controls because if you don't do that, you're not gonna see what you're editing. In other words, if I click on this picture of me right here, you can't tell that I just clicked on it. There's nothing to show that. But if you click on transform controls and then click on it, you can now see a box is around the image that I selected and I can even drag these corners and I can resize it and do what I want with it. If I don't want it here, I'm just gonna hit delete and get rid of it. Now for you guys, Obviously, this is going to be your video, so you do not want this picture of me there. You probably don't want that anyways. So just hit delete and get rid of it. Now, the other thing is you can see a background image right here. This is a background image that I took of uh, YouTube. I blurred it and then I added it. We don't need that for this one. So I'm going to click delete. And that leaves us with the text that we can edit. But first, before we do that, I want to go ahead and add another background image here and another picture of a person. So there is a place you can go to get some free images and there's actually quite a few places online you can go, but one of them that I like is called Free Pick, and I'll put the link for this below the video. They do have a paid version. I, I do have that, but I'm not signed into my paid version because I wanna show you guys what you get with this with just the free version alone, which should be enough for you. So let's say I want a picture of somebody who's really happy. So we can do something like happy man and hit enter. And you can see there's all different kinds of images that we have here we can use. You'd want to use one preferably that has a solid background color that is the opposite of what the color is of the person. So this image here would actually be really good because uh, everything is dark here and then you have a light background, which means the background is going to be easy to remove from this picture. So this picture here, you can see it says download go premium. So if I click on this, it's not going to let me download this one. So this is not one of the free images. So let's go back and we'll go back again. And let's come to something up here at the top. So for example, this one here, the first one here, if we click on it, okay, this one will let us download it. Uh, you can also see, you can edit this online if you want to. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to download it, show you how to edit it using Photo P. So we're going to click on download. I want to save it on my computer and then we're gonna go back to Photo P and upload it. Okay, now that we're over here and we downloaded the image, we're gonna click on File, we're gonna click on Open, and then we're gonna open that picture we just downloaded. And you can see now it imported this picture. Now there's a couple of things I wanna do here before I use it. So first of all, I wanna come over here on the left-hand side, and you can see this one here that I'm hovering over. This is a crop tool. So I'm gonna click it, and then it's gonna let me drag these sides so I can crop this image to make it smaller because I don't want it near this wide. There's no purpose of having it that wide. And then I'm also gonna shrink the top of it a little bit too. And we'll click this check mark so it looks like this. Now, as of right now, this has a white background and we wanna get rid of that. And I'm really surprised this free tool offers this feature 
But if you come over here on the left hand side, there is an eraser tool. So if you click on this, it's going to give you three different options. And what you want to choose is the magic eraser. Now, when you do that, you're going to come over here and you're going to click anywhere in the background. And you can see it instantly takes the white clear away from it. Now what I'm going to do is come up here and click this arrow because we want to select the image. And then I'm going to hold down and drag this image over to my other tab, which is up here. I'm going to bring it down and you can see the blue outline box. So what this means is that this picture is a lot bigger than my thumbnail picture. So what I'm going to do is drag it over to about here and drop it. And then I'm going to shrink it. So we're going to grab this corner and bring it down. I want to drag it back up again and we're going to make it smaller. And we're going to do it again. OK, so now this is our image, but the problem is we can't see the image and that's because it's clear behind everything else. So what you want to do is over here on the right hand side, you can see here, these are all of your layers or all of your objects that you have on your image. And right now you can see that this guy, the image we just added is clear at the bottom. That means he's behind everything. So we can't see him. So what we want to do is click on him and drag him and bring him up above the background image and drop it. And now you can see he's above the background, but yet he's still behind all the text. So this is okay. What I'm going to do is make the image a little bit smaller and we're going to drag them over this way. Actually, what we can do, if, if you don't want to flip the image, I'll show you how to flip it in a minute because he's pointing the wrong direction, but you could always leave him over here on this side and then move all the text over on the right side. But I'm going to go ahead and move him over here. And then we're going to come up to edit, transform and flip horizontally. And you can see now that flipped him over. So now he's pointing in the right direction. Now from here, we can edit the text. This is going to be whatever the product is that or topic that you're using your video for. You can resize this. You can do so much stuff with this text. You can double click on the text. It's going to let you edit it so you can change it to whatever you want to. Then you can come up here and hit this check mark when you're done. You can also come over here to this little text box and it's going to open up some options here for different fonts you can use, different sizes, different ways you can just set up your fonts uh, however you want to. And if you want, then you can drag some of this other stuff around just by clicking it and holding it. And we'll go ahead and leave that there. And then we'll grab this text down here. Well, this check mark. And then click the text and drag it up. And then we'll click on this one and drag it up just like that. Now you can see, I don't know if you can see or not, but in this background here, um, it's not all white. There's some color right here, which didn't all remove. So I'm going to click on this image again and go back to the magic eraser and then click on this spot and that made it disappear. Okay. So this is almost done. What I would like to do though, is add a background image to it. So let's do that now. What I'm going to do is jump back over to free pick and we're going to do a search this time just for background. Uh, we'll just do something kind of generic here. We'll do, we'll just click on background. And so these, there's so many different options here. Um, obviously, if you have the paid plan, you're going to have a lot more to choose from. But this blue one, I'm just going to use that. So I'm going to click on this and it is free. So I'm going to click on download. And you can see here attribution is required. Basically what this means is they want you to copy. Um, they want you to copy this text here and paste it under your video in your description box because you are using this for free. So, um, but since I have a plan for this, I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to go ahead and download this and then we're going to come back over here and I'm going to open it. Okay. Now that we have this image, I can click on it and drag it over to the other tab for my thumbnail and then we're going to bring it down here and drop it and then once again it put it clear at the bottom so we want to move it up one spot so it's right above the background and there it is so that actually looks really good now what i can do is i can click on this background and if you guys notice how i blur a lot of the backgrounds on my thumbnails this tool provides that option too so if you come up here and you click on filter, 
you can go down to blur and go to box blur. And then you can choose how much you want to filter it. So it kind of gives you a preview of what it looks like. And you can drag this. And usually I leave it around four or five or six or something like that. So if you want to blur it, you can. Now this background, I kind of like it the way it is without being blurred. Uh, but if you're using a, a picture of a background that has text on it or something like that, it's best if you blur it because it just becomes too much in your thumbnail. This here looks pretty decent though. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Now, something else I'm going to show you, you can do with this because a lot of people ask me, how do you get the outline around the people or the outline around your face? And so all you have to do is click on the object you want an outline on. And then over here under your layers, you're going to see where it's selected. You want to right click on it and it's going to open an option for blending. So you want to select that. And then you have an option here for stroke. So you want to tick that box. And then you want to tick where it says stroke. And that's going to bring open this page here where you can choose the size of the outline. So you can see here how it's making the outline bigger. If you want to use black, which really doesn't look too bad at all, or we can change the color by clicking in this box and we can choose white. And it looks like that. Now you can see at the top of my image, it's, where I didn't delete all the background from, from this, it's outlining it. So what I can do is once again, come over here to my magic eraser, click on magic eraser and just tick this and it'll get rid of it. There's still some down here. So let me drag it up some and get rid of that. Then we can move him back here. So that actually looks really, really good. So I could just keep it this way. And then when I'm done, just come up to file do export as and you're going to save it as a ping file or a JPEG image right here. Save it to your computer and then you have a really nice looking thumbnail you can use for your YouTube thumbnails. Now what you can do is make sure you keep that thumbnail on your desktop. So the next video you want to make, all you have to do is come back to this tool, come up to file, open and open that image back up and it is going to let you edit it again. Or what might even be better is to make an extra copy of this thumbnail and keep it on your desktop. That way, if you do make changes to your other one and you mess it up and you want to go back, you'll always have that other copy you can use and come back to. Overall, this is the best alternative that I have found to Photoshop. It's online and it's free. And it also has all the features that I use from my own Photoshop software. Now, if you enjoy these types of videos, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll be sure to notify you when I upload new ones. That's it for this video, guys. Have a great day.